What's going on, my fellow Jedi and Padawans? Welcome back to another Jedi gaming video. Thank you guys so much for coming back to the channel. And if you guys are new, welcome, welcome. Today, we're going to cover a god roll, guys, for y'all for the new LMG, the Spielologist, which is one of those rapid fire frames. So, pretty solid with getting that DPS, pretty fast reload. And we got some pretty good perks, both third and fourth column for this thing for PvE for sure. Definitely PvP. I would definitely suggest one of these slower shoots shooting LMGs, but also not too bad in my personal opinion. So first off right here, we got ourselves the origin trade on all of our nice fail safe weapons, the Vex theme radial area transposer right here. So those rapid final blows cause targets to explode into a big old pool of that radial area fluid. This allows you to do a little bit extra air clear with this thing causes like a semi jolt reaction in that little spot that it creates. Definitely better on something like this than some of the other weapons weapons that we got from this season but definitely not the best origin trait in my personal opinion at least so starting out with the pve side of things gonna build this out for stability as well as damage we're gonna have an ad clear side of this thing as well but i went with that stability as its master because like i said as the 900 rpms shoot fast has some pretty good damage output but it bounces around quite a bit so having it built out for like 60 stability is what we were shooting for in our barrel the first option that we got is small bore right here gives us range and stability ranges at 37 with this stability at 55 that's what i was kind of looking for on this thing for the most like optimal distance as well as bounce on this bad boy so for magazine right here we got two different options tactical mag and that typical assault mag tactical mag we're gonna have increased reload stability and magazine size so pretty solid all around this is what i would choose as my number one option for sure for our magazine your other option is that appended mag we do go down a little bit in stability as well as reload and we get seven more bullets in the magazine so in my opinion wasn't worth the seven bullets to lose five in stability and ten in that reload so i personally go with tactical over appended all right, so third column got some options for you. Really three of them in my personal opinion. Envious Assassin is the S tier perk. The five out of five god rule for sure. So defeating targets with other weapons before drawing this one has the ammo basically overfill the magazine. So with this and our 100 in the magazine, we're basically getting 200, 213 shots in this bad boy when it is fully overflowed because of Envious Assassin. So absolutely juiced for both doing damage as well as ad clear potential. Second option in my opinion is stats for all right here hitting three separate targets it gives us handling stability reload and range so this is good for that ad clear side if you want to build it out more for that rather than having it for the dps side of things but i still think envious definitely beats this out for sure no matter what you're kind of going into last option in my opinion is heal clip reloading after dealing final blows grants cure for you and your nearby allies you have additional time to perform that reload so not reloading this thing too too often especially since we have 100 in the magazine plus there are so many better ways to get healing in my personal opinion especially if you're using it on something like a sidearm auto rifle smg something like that that you reload a bunch definitely way more practical but it is an option as well now when we move into the fourth column got a couple different options as well target lock is probably my number one choice for that damage side of things having envious assassins with target lock having like 215 shots where you can get target lock to continuously proc and stack up is absolutely disgusting for that damage output especially since this thing is that fast firing round we got 73 in the reload so we can reload real fast put another 100 down range with it absolutely disgusting so that's my number one choice add clear side of things you got the good old incandescent spreads that scorch around more powerful combatants and guardians spread that larger radius of that scorch so definitely on the add clear side of things would pair it with that envious assassin because 200 rounds of incandescent is just too crazy for me to describe but you can really go with either our other options as well with that heel clip or stats for all totally up to you but envious would be my third column target lock would be my fourth column and then incandescent is a very close second if you want it for that add clear side of things last option for me for pve we got killing tally final blows increase the weapon damage until it is stored or reloaded improve the magazine size as well so this will help us to get a little bit of extra shots in the magazine but nothing too crazy plus you do got to get defeats instead of just continuously damaging like target locks so that's why i personally would choose target lock over killing tally but not a bad option as well especially if there's a bunch of ads around and with the 200 in the magazine getting 
gotten a couple defeats and then having the rest of that magazine like 150 170 to do killing tally at the max damage is a lot of output so you do got a lot of options overall i do really like the spielologist i would probably put it at somewhere in that like four 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 five range for our lmgs just in general very good i do like these slower shooting versions a little bit better but having one that has the potential with target lock as well as incandescent not too shabby for the pve realm in my personal opinion and then of course we'll cover pvp but definitely not that great like i said slower shooting lmgs definitely way more meta all right pvp side of things definitely going for stability and range on it again just because that stability absolutely is necessary inside of the crucible especially with that flinch so that's why we got that masterwork as stability so since we're building this out for stability went with small bore as our barrel here gives us that range at 32 stability at 65 with this bad boy magazine right here really your only option is that steady rounds gives us that 65 and stability which is definitely the choke point of this weapon in the crucible is that stability you're able to hit things decently far even with that 32 range because it is an lmg so we are trying to build it out for that stability side for sure third and fourth column i really think there are basically only one option in each of those the first one in that third column i really like slideways on this gives us that handling and stability more for the stability thing when we slide around it's also going to partially refill the magazine but definitely does not happen with the heavy unless you happen to slide over a brick or something like that that somebody dropped which actually might be kind of nice but overall slideways are definitely using it for that stability booster over everything now fourth column kind of the same thing incandescent would probably be my only choice just because we can spread that scorch get a couple defeats you're going to get ignitions to start going off especially in sixes might be a good thing especially if they're all conglomerated in one area but overall not really else too much in this fourth column i guess you could maybe go with killing tally so you could get a few defeats and this thing would just stack up its damage but you're already getting a good amount of damage as an lmg anyway so not really necessary that's why i would like the incandescent a little bit better so overall inside of the pvp i would probably give this thing nothing too crazy maybe a 3.7 3.8 out of 5 nothing too crazy about it like i said for pvp but pve it definitely does shine it feels very good for one of those 900 rpm lmgs especially since we got the potential with incandescent for ad clear or target lock for that dps side of things so this weapon definitely pretty nice definitely keep on coming out with these seasons or echoes whatever they are called now hopefully we got some pretty new content coming out or at least switching it up in the future here but like i said i appreciate all you guys for always coming back to the channel it means a lot to me it means a lot to the channel as well i hopefully will catch you in the next one peace